Shelley, what's the latest on the story? Well, as you mentioned, he was released from jail at about 4.30 this morning. Originally, they wanted to set bail at $60,000, but the judge said no, $25,000 cash bail. He mentioned he must wear an electronic device. He has a curfew. He has, can have no contact with the accuser. He can have no uh, possession of a firearm, and he cannot drink alcohol. These are very strict uh, regulations for his bond. And he was released and left jail, as you see in this video. Uh, we talked to the, the, or the police had a press conference yesterday. Here's what they had to say right after his arrest. Shortly after both of these incidents had occurred, the victim fled the state with their child in common, uh, alleging safety concerns for herself. A report was made with the Phoenix Police Department on September 11th of 2014, and investigators from our Family Investigations Unit have been seeking out-of-state medical records, conducting interviews with witnesses, and ultimately developed cause today to arrest Jonathan Dwyer uh, while in Tempe this afternoon. All right, I'm told that two of these counts are likely to be felonies. The other three misdemeanors still very serious. Uh, they are seeking medical records from out of state, meaning she did not get attention from medical authorities here, but somewhere else, and that's an important part of this case. I'm also told, uh, again, two felonies, possible three misdemeanors.